Hey guys, what's going on? It's Knock. Welcome along to the stream here on a Thursday. We're still melting here in the UK. It's ridiculously hot. But tonight we are going to be playing some early access. For those of you who don't know, um, I have a uh, games um, publisher um that often emails me and says uh we got some keys would you like to review and play these games so from time to time i just take a few of these um indie games and we play them and we see what we end up with this one today tonight is called um my big sister and um probably it's a kind of like an rpg adventure kind of game the tags on Steam are, uh, yeah, Adventure, Gore, Violent, RPG. So uh, I thought I'd take a look at it, see what it's like. Um, so my name is Louisa, Luzia, Luzia maybe. And the story isn't about me, but my sister. Play as Luzia in her quest to return home. After Luzia and her older sister, Sombria, are abducted by strangers, it's up to Luzia to help her find, find help her and her sister home. Help Luzia solve puzzles, uncover mysteries, find clues, and escape the clutches of insanity in this original story adventure game. Luzia is a typical 8-year-old, 12-year-old <coughs> girl with a very sarcastic and playful attitude. Her story takes place on an unfortunate night where everything she ever known takes a turn for the worst. Her older sister, Sombria, has suffered an adverse fate as she and, her, and Luzia try to return home. Is she a ghost, a guardian, a walking corpse, or still alive? Oh, I've said too much, or have I? Game uses an RPG top-down style which consists of finding items, secrets, and solving puzzles to progress the story. The game progresses in chapters, which 9 plus are filled with secrets and easter eggs. Luzia, a 12-year-old girl with a sarcastic and playful attitude, surprisingly she doesn't get as scared as her older sister. Sombrea, a 19-year-old with a severe attitude but a warm side when no one is looking. And this is an early access game. So... For those of you that have seen me play some of these games previously, um, they are occasionally hit and miss, and you know, but um, that's all part and parcel. I can't complain. The, the the publisher is kind enough to ask me if I want to give them a try. I give them a try and um, give them a bit of coverage on my channels. So, without further ado, let's jump in with a new game, shall we? Because I am yet to do anything. I'm sorry about like the black bits at the side as well. There's no options actually to. Um, actually change the resolution of the game. I can't make the game any bigger at all, so I do apologize for that. I had the dream again. It's like a broken record. It's going round and round, but never stops. One day, I hope it does. Oh, I... Uh, uh, uh. Maybe I can change settings. Where am I? I can't leave. Why am I here? Anybody? I need to find a way home. Okay, so... Yeah, there is no way to change it. Just wanted to make sure. That's all. Excuse me. Can you please tell me where I am? This is the downtown marketplace. Are you lost? I'm not sure. Where are your part? Where are your parents? I'm not sure about that either. Well, maybe you should just wait here. It'll make it easier for them to find you. Uh, okay then. Say, you haven't found a key, have you? I dropped it around here somewhere. No, sorry, I haven't seen a key. It's a poster for a cola company. Feel fresh with our new Cola Buzz Blast. The bottle is stuck between her boobs. Oh, wow. Classy. I can't open it. The lock looks broken. It's an air duct. Maybe I can get out through the here. It's pretty dark in there. I need to find a light before I go in. Okay. It's like a chest, maybe? They're animal cages. They smell rotten. They must have let them die in here. The poor things. What's that in there? 
a key. But I can't reach it. My hands won't fit through the cage. Okay. The animal cages. Smell rotten. We must have let them die in here. Poor things. Alright, so is, is, is that the same dialogue for all cages then? Easy inventory. I kind of missed that before. It's pretty dark down there. Wait. There's something shiny down there. But I can't fit through the get that gap. I'll need to find something to reach it. Alright, so... Clearly I need to find something. Mmm. That smells delicious. Hello there, child. Are you lost? I, I don't know. I fell asleep. Next thing I knew, I woke up here. Well, if you need anything, my darling, come see me. How about some of those tasty noodles? I'm starving. Well, sure. Here. Yum! Mmm, <laughs> yum. Item found. Yummy noodles. Okay. So... Maybe I could use... Ah, chopsticks. Maybe I can get the... Maybe I can get the key now. Maybe I get the key out of the animal cage now. I can use the chopsticks to reach the key. A little closer. Gotcha. I wonder what it unlocks. I love the way they've taken the Zelda... Okay, the boiler key. Maybe it's for here. It's unlocked. Uh, what are you doing here? I I want to help you, Lu Luzia. Not here. People see you, but I just just go away, Luzia. Just go. It's too risky for her to be seen by others. I'm I'm sorry, Sombria. Well, we'll figure this out soon. Okay. Hey, there's something I can use here. A coat hanger. There's nothing else useful in here. Okay. So maybe I can use this to reach the shiny thing. It's a keychain with a torch on it. This could be useful. I don't need this coat hanger anymore. Okay. So can I now use the torch? Can I use this here? Um, excuse me. Yes. I found your missing key. Oh, thank you. I thought I would never find it. Key unlocked. Make sure you return it after you use it. Just wait here. I'm sure they will find you. Okay, then. Uh. Hello? Is anyone in there? I guess not. That was right. I need to use the flashlight in the air duct, didn't I? Okay. I should be able to go see where I'm going now. I hope this will help us find a way home. Okay. A bad dream? And just like that, our lives will change forever. the same dream every night <sighs> great now I can't sleep I better see what zombies up to can't use it 
It needs to be charged. Okay. I better not go in her room. She'd kill me if I went snooping around. Plus, she locks it anyway. Okay. I'll watch TV a little later. I can't believe Mum has this stupid cat drawing. I did that when I was like three. I should have drawn the tiger. Much cooler. Huh, it's a sink. That's pretty neat. If anyone is listening to me right now, I'm using sarcasm. <laughs> Can I like thank you. I would use this mug. But zombie's been slobbering all over it. Yuck, it smells like a cigarette. Why has Mum not noticed it yet? It's pretty dark outside. I don't need to go to the bathroom. Okay. Alright, else I can go here. Aha! I thought I could smell you here. Oh great, the smoke police. So, are you gonna tell mom? No, as usual. I can't sleep, zombie. Why do you still call me that? Well, what do your friends call you? Soma. Pfft, that's stupid. I'm going to keep calling you zombie. It sounds like you're calling me zombie. Does it look like I'm a zombie? <laughs> Clearly not. Sometimes, when you're getting out of bed or the shower. Shut up, Luzia. You look like a creepy doll sometimes. Yeah, but you can still cuddle a doll. I won't cuddle a zombie. So, why can't you sleep? I had that dream again. Which one? The Chinese markets? Or that German singing an alligator? Really? I was trying to forget about the alligator one. It was the Chinese market one. Oh, the one where I'm like a ghost or something. Yes. Doesn't that worry you a little at all? Why, it's your dream. But you're dead in it. It's just a dream, Lucia. Well, okay. But don't say I didn't warn you. You overreact too much. You better get back to bed. Mum's gonna be home soon. Besides, it's cold out. I'll be heading inside in a minute. Okay, I'll see you inside. I watch some telly. I'll watch TV a little later. Hmm. I think I'll go for a glass of milk. That should help me sleep. Hmm. Not necessarily. And just where do you think you're going? Hmm. Well, Mum, just to the kitchen for a glass of mi milk. Is that okay with you? Typical eight-year-old. Uh, I'm twelve. Duh. 
Whatever, just hurry up and get to bed. Mom's gonna be home soon, and you'll be in trouble then. Don't worry, I'll just tell her I was having a quick smoke before bed. Just hurry up, Luzia. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeesh. Yeesh, maybe. I guess. Yeesh. Uh, kitchen was this way, wasn't it? Jeez. Well, not arse face gets to stay up so late. She doesn't even do anything besides be annoying. Maybe I should tell Mum she's smoking. But then, she'd probably tell Mum about the roach. There's nothing wrong with keeping one as a pet. She keeps a cockroach with the pet. They're probably cleaner than her. Okay, I better go to bed. Hey, you hear that? Says my mum pulling up in the driveway. You better get to bed now. Oh crap. Hey, watch the language, Lucia. Bed, now. Okay. I should be able to sleep now. Okay. This is not working. Why can't I sleep? Oh yeah. The lights are still on. I'm just as bad as zombies sometimes. And it's dark. Must be a fuse or something. I know I'm going to be in trouble for this, but what the hell? Mom! M Mom? Maybe zombie's just trying to scare me again. Zombie! Zombie? Zombria! Great. Guess I'll just go fix the damn thing myself. Uh, huh? S zombie? If this is some sick joke, then I'm telling Mum. Did you hear me? I bet she wants me to follow that trail. But uh, guess what? I'm not dumb enough to fall for that. I bet she's hiding in the kitchen. Let's go look in the kitchen then, shall we? Huh. She's not in here. Maybe she's hiding in the bathroom. Zombie? Zombria, open up! I know you're in there. Zombie? Don't tell me I have to go outside. You have to go outside. Okay. Huh? What's going on? Wait a second. That's not Mum's car. Zombie's boyfriend, maybe? Doesn't he own a moving truck? She better not be hiding in there. Are you in here, Zombie? Som... Zombie! Lu Lucia. You need to... Zombria, what happened? Run, Luzia. Run! Oh, no. Dun-dun-dun. My big sister. Is this all real? I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. It's all her fault. So we're at like a shrink's office now. So, Lucia, what are we going to talk about today? I don't know. Well, how about we start with those dreams? Have you had any lately? No. Lucia, you're not going to get any better if you don't cooperate. Can I ask you something? Sure. Why am I here? You're here because you are mentally ill, Lucia. No. Why am I really here? Every time I'm here, all you talk about is my dreams. Maybe it's not the dreams. Maybe it's me. Your dreams are the key to your illness, Luzia. The key to your sister's death. Sombria is not dead. 
Look, Lucia, I don't want to go down this path again. You need to accept your sister's dead. Okay, I'll accept it then. R really? You finally come to accept it? Yep. I accept that she's alive. Maybe the medication is causing these hallucinations. We'll have to cut back your dose. I, I haven't been talking, taking them. I stopped months ago. You, you haven't been taking them? Yep. So she's alive? Lucia, her body was identified. She's dead. Look, this is getting a bit silly. The thing is... What? Well, do you believe in the afterlife? Well, I don't know. You mean like ghosts, right? Well, sort of. Ghosts can't touch anything. So, like a poltergeist? Hmm, maybe. Do poltergeists eat? I don't think they do. Why do you say that? Because zombie eats. W what does she eat? Noodles? Oh. Oh, and people. But people? Oh yeah. But only when she's mad for some reason. Lucia, I think you need to start taking your medication. It will help you, I promise. It won't help. I promise. Uh, okay, Lucia. I want to try something with you. I want you to find something in this room. Something that relates to you and how you feel. It could be anything you wish. Once you have an item, bring it to me. Just be careful with some of the items. I want to keep everything in one piece. Okay. Hey, a doll. Maybe it's just me. But dolls creep me out. I got an exclamation mark there, but I can't do anything. What? It has crosses in its inappropriate places. Ew. Alright, let's take this doll to the dude. I guess. So, you brought me the doll. Let's talk about that. Please take a seat. Why pick the doll? Well, because it's cute, I guess. In a creepy sort of way. Well, it may symbolize something. To me, it means vulnerability. And you seem like a fragile girl, Lucia. What's that supposed to mean? Did your mother hurt or touch you in any way? What? No! My mom would never do such a thing. Besides, she's never home to do that anyway. She's always working. What about your sister? Why are you so interested in finding out this? First my mum, then my dad, and now my sister? Well, Lizia, you picked the doll. I picked it because it was strange and unordinary. Not because I'm vulnerable. Lizia, I know you're holding back something. It's alright to let it out here. I promise. Well, there is one thing. I don't like talking about it. But I, I watched my sister die. Aha! I knew it! I knew you had already come to terms with your sister's death. This isn't a good thing. I don't know why you're so happy. I'm sorry, but this is a breakthrough I've been waiting for. There's just one thing, though. She didn't stay dead. Not this again, Lucia. Zombie, come on, show yourself. Lucia. Just show yourself. Lucia, I think we're done here today. Please? I'll have the receptionist book your next appointment. Please, wait outside. You chose the doll. Maybe there's multiple options to choose. Alright, can't go to the toilet. Just a bunch of sporting magazines. That's strange. There's no one in there. Bunch of brooches for holiday parks. Hey, this place doesn't look too bad. Dayfield Motel. It's got a western cowboy sort of vibe. Sounds like a nice place for a vacation. Is that a J I is that a JIT reference? Uh I don't know. What's a JIT reference? I don't know. Alright, let's just walk out here. I can't talk to that woman there, clearly. 
Huh? The door's locked. What the hell's going on? Oh, that's a shame. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? Just like everyone else. I've got some issues. I need sorting. Do you have noodles to sell or something? Don't you have a sister that needs your help? There's nothing else I can do for her now. She doesn't want any help. That's what they all say. What do you mean? Do you think she wants to ask for your help? But what do I know? I'm just an old lady. But she said yourself. She can't be changed back. That doesn't mean she can't be helped. Put yourself in her position. Then tell me how you would feel. That word zombie said before. Depressed. Gosh. I don't know why you're, so, you're seeing this for. I should start my own clinic. And get out of my noodles. Is there a way to get out of here? So I can help Sombria? You're 12. You're better figuring this stuff out than me. Besides, the key to your problems is better off flushed away. Alright, so the key is in the toilet. I'll wash my hands later. It, is that a hand? It's holding a key. You have got to be kidding me. I think you might want to wash your hands now, to be fair, Luzia. After just having touched her. Oh no. No, no, no. The door's locked. Huh? Uh. Oh, it's just you. Why didn't you show yourself to him? Now he's going to think I'm crazy. It's not all just about you. Zombie? Wait. Why do you look normal? Why did you do this to me, Luzia? You ruined my life. I wish you were never born. S zombie, I'm really sorry. Go to hell, Luzia. I wish you were dead. M maybe you're right. Maybe I should have been the one that died. Well, I can arrange that for you, little sister. Die, you little pest. Oh my goodness, what, what, what is going on right here? S zombie? I, I think she's gone. She's getting worse, and I keep making it worse. But don't worry, Sombria. I will fix this, I promise. I hope that's the door unlocking. Okay. Great. Now I can get out of here. Feeling sick, my darling? You took your time in there. It, it must have been something I ate for lunch. Okay, dear. See you next time. I hope I don't see you anymore. That's nice, isn't it? See you next time, but I hope I don't see you anymore. Now we're going to Liam Neeson territory. Taken! Don't worry. Everything will be okay. We'll get through this. I promise. Okay, so where are we going? Well, I don't know, Luzia. I don't know. How can you be so calm about this? Easy. This has got to be some sort of prank. This is no prank, Luzia. We're being kidnapped. When is that going to sink into your head, Luzia? Well, what are we going to do about it? I don't know. I already tried the door. There's no way out. Huh. Well, that's not good. I wish I had your attitude right now. Our only option is to wait and see where they take us. Who's they? Gee, full of questions right now. I don't know. They were wearing masks. But... Huh? I thought I saw... An old... Hey, do you hear that? Not an old lady, surely. Could it be the noodle lady? Ooh, it sounds like a parade. Where are we? It sounds like Chinatown. Chinatown? Well, what other parades 
play Chinese music in them. The funny things we do. We don't. The funny thing is, we don't have a Chinatown. We must be in Little Tokyo. Aren't they two different countries? It's the music that throws me off. Look, we need to make a plan for when that door opens. When I kick the guy who opens the door, we run for it, okay? That's a stupid plan. It'll never work. Oh, and why not? Because usually, when that happens in movies, the victims fall asleep by the time they arrive. In movies? Yeah. Don't you watch movies? This isn't a movie, Lucia. It'll work. Trust me. If you say so, sis. Okay, let's get ready. Hopefully, we'll be stopping soon. And we fall asleep, just like Lucia said. Man, it's so hot and sweaty. It's ridiculous. Well, it's about time. Huh. Hopefully you girls had a smooth ride. I apologize about the mode of transportation. You'll both probably want, want an explanation for all of this. Actually, I don't know why you're naked. Well, aren't you the mischief one? Welcome to my bathhouse. We're fine, thanks. But zombie... I want to go swimming. Shut up, Lizia. Now is not the time. Oh, but where are my manners? I am a Sheena. But everybody calls me the Red Witch. A witch? Like the hat, warts, cats and stuff? <laughs> it's like this little one. Your name's Lizia, right? I've heard a lot about you. What do you want with us? Why did you bring us here? Oh, so you want to skip the introductions. Fine. And actually, Sombria, I only wanted you. Your sister was the bonus that idiot brought along. What? Why? The thing is, you have something that I want. When I was your age, the only thing I ever wanted was a pair of legs. A pair of long, beautiful, luscious legs. I hate being short with average legs. There was no way to fix my problem. Well, not in this world. The only way to get what I wanted was to make a sacrifice. So I took the life of my older sister. She had all the perfections a girl would ever want. Especially those long, silky, luscious legs. But it came at a cost. I was cursed for the rest of eternity. But I got what I wanted. Wow, they are long legs. And she is naked. As you can see. This is my curse. No way. What do you want with me? Sombria, can't you see the similarities between us? We carry the complexion, the same look. We are almost identical. If I can't have my old body back, I want yours. What? No, please! In return, you will keep my body and can have anything you wish. She ain't getting you stilts, lady. And you better let us... Did you say anything she wishes? Lucia! Zombie, you can ask for a pony. <laughs> well, I really tall one. Ha ha, Sombria. I love your little sister. She's such the jokester. Lucia, stop it! Okay then, forget it, lady. Sweetie, it's just an offer. And you're more than welcome to say no, Sombria. Then why kidnap us? I never asked for either of you to be kidnapped. I'll make sure to punish that driver for what he did to you. And please, Sombria, think about my offer. I don't want to think about it. I just want us to go home. Well, then that's fine. I'll arrange for someone to take you both home. While you wait, feel free to enjoy the facilities and refreshments. You got a buffet? Or you can eat. Oh, I'm sold. Come on, zombie. Let's go chow down. You girls weren't going anywhere. And what do you want, old woman? Surely a mother can visit her daughter. Ooh. You are no mother of mine. Remember, it was you that gave me this curse. 
and it was you that took my daughter for greed. Why are you here? Just a friendly word of caution. Oh, and what's that? Beware of the young one. She's a lot smarter than you would expect. Lucia? Ha <laughs> ha That little girl is too innocent to cause trouble. That is a speciality, my daughter. Just a friendly word of caution. I don't need your words of wisdom, you old hag. Once I have a body, I won't have your wretched curse upon me. I will finally be free. Oh, I'm sorry, my daughter. But you will never be free. Okay. Where is everybody? She said there's an all-you-can-eat buffet here. Who's here? Not now, please. And I'm not hungry either. Well, I'm always hungry. I know you are. I can't just stand here with an empty stomach. I'm going to go snoop around. No, Lizia. You stay right here. Sorry, Mum. I can't do that. Look, I won't go too far, okay? <sighs> You're not going to listen to me anyway. I'll bring you back a donut or something. I've got a coffee. Snooping around. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. There's something shiny in there. I could unlock it if I had a key or a lockpick. It's a sauna. There's, a, there's an emergency temperature gauge on the door. Why is it an emergency temperature gauge? I don't need a shower right now. I don't smell that bad. Alright, so I need to find a lockpick or a key. So I can't take a swim. Hey, what's this? A flower? It smells lovely. Red spider lilies, beautiful flower. But has a terrible meaning. I'm not sure I want to be going out just now. I don't think anyone would mind me looking. Hey, what's this? A keychain? Flashlight? This should come in handy. Okay, so it's almost like this what we had in the original like shop. There is nothing to do in here unless I can There are tiles missing where the eyes should be. Okay, so that's maybe what's in the locker, perhaps?
I need to like, I guess I need to adjust the temperature somehow maybe to get into there if I can get into there at all. Hey, zombie. What is here? Can I have one of your bobby pins? What for? My fringe is loose. You don't have a fringe, loose here. My back fringe, duh. Whatever, here, just take it and leave me alone for a while. Okay. So now I can go and unlock pick the locker. Okay, this should work. There, I got it. Whoops, Bobby Pin broke. Sorry, zombie. What the hell is this? A mask? It looks creepy. Hey, no children allowed in here. I knew it. There are people working here. And I'm starving. Did you just hear me say no children allowed in here? I did, but I'm a delinquent. And who are you? <sighs> this is why I hate kids. My name is Nikuya, but the witch calls me the butcher. I thought you were the chef. There's no cooked food here, young one. Everything is raw. Oh, like sushi? <sighs> Not like sushi. Do you know what witches eat? I think my mum read me a book on that. Gingerbread houses? Kid, look. This isn't the place for children to be. And you seem like a good kid, but... Just be careful around here. Okay. But is there anything to eat around here? <sighs> look, I'm trying to find a candy bar or something for you. Just don't touch anything. Okay? Okay. Hey, a freezer. The door's locked. I hate to get locked in there. It's locked. Hey, did you did you find me a candy bar? By the way, where's your face? I don't have one. Why not? Everyone should have a face. Kid, I'm not everyone. I'm not even human. Then why are you? You ask too many questions. Well, how about one more question? Do you have a big sharp knife I can have? A little girl with a big sharp knife? Now that's scary even for me. And no, we can't have everything we want. Even me. And what do you want, a face? Actually, yeah, but that's a long shot. Well, today is your lucky day. Hey, Mr. Butcher, I have a surprise for you. Huh? I found you a face, but, but how? You didn't cut someone's fate. Ta-da! Oh, it's a mask. So, what do you think? It doesn't actually look that bad. Thanks, kid. So, can I have that knife now? Well, okay. Make sure you be responsible with it. You don't want to be disemboweling humans with it or anything. Alright, so what do I want the big knife for, I wonder? That lady was freaky. Stop it, Luzia. If she was a spider, she'd be called Mummy Longlegs. Shut up, Luzia. I am not in the mood for this right now. I'm, I'm sorry, zombie. Stop calling me that. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you upset. No, it's okay. <sighs> I'm sorry too, Luzia. I just want to go home. Okay, so what am I going to do with a knife, I wonder? Maybe we need to go and I can't use this here. Okay. It's a long shot.
drag it out. There's nothing else in here, is there? Ah, what if I give this what if I give the um flower to zombie maybe? We can try that, right? By the way, where's your face? I don't have one. Why not? Everyone should have a face. Kid, I'm not everyone. I'm not even human. Then what are you? You asked too many questions. Well, how about one more question? Do you have a big sharp knife? I can have, well, we've already gone that, haven't we? We've already been through this. Hey, Mr. Butcher. Can you tell me a little more about this item? Hey, be careful with that. Why? Do you know what that is? A flower? That is no ordinary flower. That is a spider lily. Cool name, but why so dangerous? That flower brings death. And I've died far too many times in my, to my liking. Whoa, is death painful? Is death painful? <sighs> Oh, I don't want to... Oh, I have to go for this every time. Okay. So the knife's not sharp. The knife is blunt, right? Hey, some noodles. I knew there was something to eat around here. Although, I don't think roaches were in the recipe. But, the chopstick seems useful. Okay, so we got chopsticks. Alright, so I have chopsticks. Maybe now I can use the chopsticks in the hole behind the Ujima Flippy, what do you call it, things. That's so hot. Nope. So where do I use the chopsticks, man? Going on, Aaron. Welcome along to the stream, buddy. This is um, it's one of those indie games from the publisher who likes to send me um, keys to try. It's kind of just like a kind of like a horror adventure kind of little game. How are you doing tonight, anyway, buddy? Are you all well? Yeah, very hot. It is ridiculously hot. You can use the... Oh. I 
All of these are locked, right? Yeah. We actually had, like, a bit of rain today. And that is the first time I've seen rain in this country since my daughter's birthday on the 2nd of June. Which is absolutely crazy, but it only lasted, like, five minutes. There's an emergency temperature gauge here on the door. So why can't I... I want to get in here. Well, Zombie was blaming us for her death, right? So... Maybe we need to give her the death flower. Have you uh, got your computer all fixed? I, I think I saw that you were having some computer related issues. Cool. Good to hear. I'm at a loss here what I need to do. You missed the YouTube late night streams. I just miss rain. I really miss rain. <laughs> um. I'm not really sure what else I need to do. Oh, nice, nice. I, I'm not really a bit. I'll be honest. I'm not really a big fan of Battlefield. Um, mainly because I find the gameplay too slow. But then I guess that's because I'm used to. I've only ever really played Call of Duty first-person shooter games, so. You know, the new battlefields? Yeah. I think it's pretty much the same with... Oh, man, I can walk across here. What is it? Red tile. I think it's the same with, like, the, the, the Call of Duty games as well. Um... Everybody like really liked the old Call of Duties and the minute they started going a bit like futuristic and stuff. Uh, a lot of people kind of didn't like the franchise. So we got dead fish. What else are we gonna get? Jeez. Water goes on, water goes off. Yep, that's a sink, all right. It's just a sink. Great. Wow, these achievements, man. These achievements seem a bit overkill. Yeah, do, do you want to see how small the, the window is for this game? That's how small the game window is, and you cannot change it. You cannot change it, Aaron. So, yeah. It's pretty small. It is pretty darn small. So maybe now I can put, do something here.
Alright, so what did it say to do with the fish? It's dead koi fish, in order to prepare chopsticks. Ah, maybe I get the fish to the, the chef bloke, possibly. The problem is, though, I think a lot of games this time around, we're going to see that they're going to go for like a Fortnite kind of PUBG kind of vibe. Hey, Mr. Butcher. Can you tell me a little more about this item? Huh? It's a dead fish. Uh, I already know that. Well, it looks like a traditional Japanese koi fish. I know this one is dead. I found it dead on the counter in the restaurant. Oh, that was my lunch. Gross. Well, what do you know? A pair of chopsticks. Very useful things. And in more than one way. Like what? Well, like leaving me alone. Gee, aren't you fun to have around? <sighs> oh, don't talk to this again. Jeez. pissed off with the group chat um i need to put the fish in the water right somewhere but yeah it's, i think it's just that my speakers were turned up i was turned up really loud so I normally control it by like volume sliders on like video players and stuff um and yeah i i, I said to my wife i said jeez um I said, how loud has Evan got his television? And she's like, he's not got his television, he's got his tablet. I was like, oh, okay. Um, in which case, that sounds like steam. It's just really loud. Can I interrupt with this water somehow? I think it's scared. I just like, what the hell is that? But yeah, I found like Discord, you can just minimize. Uh, uh, sorry. Um, you can reduce the volume uh, notifications to only when you're like at, men at mentioned. It is just like Discord, though, isn't it? Jeez. Surely the fish has got to go in the water, right? That makes sense to me. But there's no, like, exclamation mark to say that I can actually interact with it. I can only do actions where there is an interaction like exclamation mark so uh yeah i <laughs> did you read the review i was very disappointed to be honest very disappointed i i saw that game like when it just before it came out and i was like this looks really good um and i kind of thought like kind of like alien isolation kind of vibes from it and i've like been trying to find a slot to play it and play it and play it and play it but lb did say to me he'd seen somebody play it um he said he'd seen somebody play it and uh it wasn't so good 
Um, I was like, okay, well, I, I'm still going to play it. And yeah, it's there's literally like four or five puzzles in the entire game, and that is it. Yeah, it wasn't made by um, Creative Arts, I think, are the dudes that made. That lady was freaky. Oh, okay. Don't want me to do then. And then, like, so you have, like, four or five really vague puzzles throughout the entire game. And then, right at the end, they throw in, like, a boss fight, as you probably saw from my review. They, they throw in a boss fight, right? Considering the fact there's been no enemies up to that point in the entire game, I knew it was coming because um, uh, we, I could pretty much tell from the way the story was going that the guy was double-crossing us. Um... It was just like it was just like one shotness from all it, all these like really stupid angles and stuff, and yeah, I just got, I I, I really got frustrated with it at that point. Conclan was on the stream with me last night, and um, I think my frustrations were kind of seen with him. Can I put the fish in the water? Then I don't know what I'm meant to do. Smart Games did not make Alien Isolation. They did not. Creative Assembly. It's Creative Assembly made Alien Isolation. Published by Sega. So what, like, it's a beautiful looking flower, but it has a terrible meaning. Small keychain flashlight can be used in dark areas. The blade's a little blunt, but it can still cut through paper. Ordinary pair of chopsticks, it's a dead koi fish. So what am I meant to do? takes us to reception, there's nothing there. That takes us to the pool and we can't do nothing in there. It sells I don't need a shower because I don't smell. Lost and confused. Ah. Uh. 
as long as I'm enjoying it, I just don't know what I'm meant to do. And that was a lot of my... I feel like that was a lot of my frustration with Tartarus as well. Um, at times there was just no direction. And it was, it's just re it was really vague. Really vague. So I've placed that jewel in there. That tile in there. It's only one tile. only interact with items really where there's a exclamation point can't get in the water there's two people I can speak to and they're just telling me the same thing over and over again I was hoping for more out of the goldfish, to be fair, but the chef bloke didn't really batter an eyelid, did he? No items work on her. Freezer door is locked. Spider lily brings death. It's the same thing over and over again. Can't use the camera. Can't use the knife. I just don't know what else I can...
Um. All right. Ah, uh, yeah. I just, I just had a, a total block here. I, I don't know where. meant to be going it's meant to be a walkthrough and it tells me nothing fantastic no walk through oh what you do no walk through Something about quitting the butcher's head down. I guess that's what the thing in that top right there is to do with, maybe. Um... All right, so let's look for maybe part two. Knock.exe has stopped working. Yeah, man. Stop working because of this heat, man. like scanning through a video trying to find what I'm looking for Done all that got to use the bobby pin got the knife Lunch. Okay. So, I think I might know what to do now. There is apparently a picture which looks different to the rest. And I would assume I need to use my knife. There we go. Um, okay. Gross. And really creepy. Did you say something, my dear? N no way. That thing is alive? What did you call me, my dear? 
Uh, nothing. Thing is not my name. I am the Lady of the Wall. And who may I take the pleasure of meeting? What? Your name, my dear. Oh, it's Luzia. What a strange name for a young girl. My mum said it's a bright name. It's such a bright name. Tell me, Luzia, why are you here? Me and my older sister were kidnapped by some witch. Your older sister? And what's her name, dear? It's Sombria. Ha ha ha! I get it. How ironic. Light and dark. Tell me, my dear, did the witch make you an offer? Not me, no. But she did to Sombria. Hmm. Sounds like your sister's in deep trouble. I don't think so. We're just waiting for our ride home. Ha 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 ha. Luzia, she will not let you leave until you get what she till she gets what she wants. But I may be able to help you. Okay, how? I'll make you a deal. You bring me something I want, I'll tell you how to get out of here. Okay, that sounds fair. But bring me something I don't want, and I get to eat you. Sounds good. My dear, I don't think you have a choice. Now go, bring me something of usefulness. Something of usefulness. All right, should we? I'm sorry, my dear, but this is the wrong item. And just like that, I died. <sighs> what do you mean, knock is falling you? I'm going to do all of that again. Uh, that sucks. That sucks. At least we're going to skip the diet off this time, right? Alright, so. Got the fish. Flashlight. Now I need to check the locker, go and speak to Sombria to get the bobby pin. the mask Got the chopsticks Okay. Hey, 
Okay, so we're back where we were. Bring you something of tradition. Dead fish. Congratulations, Vizier. You brought me what I wanted. And now I'll help you. To escape from this place, you'll need to find the witch's secret passage. You can find the passage in the back of the bathroom. Take this tile. It's one of the keys to your escape. Now go. I'm getting hungry. Alright, so. Maybe that's randomized every time. All right, so now I need to get the other tile. That's one thing I forgot to get before, right? Hi, buddy. No worries. Catch you later, Aaron. Have a good evening, buddy. Talk to that dude again. But yeah, for some reason there's no um there's no option I can't get that one out there now. Ah, he's well and truly done and dusted, isn't he? Okay. All right, so now I got it. Now I got the tile. All right, weird. Maybe I can only hold like one tile at a time or something. Maybe. Luzia, glad you can join us. Wait, stop. You let go? Luzia, just run. Get out of here. Listen to your sister, Luzia. You just might make it out alive. I'm not leaving without my sister. Luzia, I love your bravery. But seriously, what are you going to do? Something you wouldn't like. Maybe something like this? Sombria! Whoops, sorry, Luzia. But she's mine now. What did you do to Sombria? She's transforming. I take her body for my own, and she'll remain here with the others. Change her back! I'm sorry, Luzia. The changes are permanent. She is no longer your sister. That's where you're wrong. Luzia, hurry! We can escape through here. Es 
escape? Wh what happened to me? What have I become? Zombie. Wh what has she done to you? You look diff. I know, Luzia. I, I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Just don't say anything right now, Lucia. Just leave me alone for a while. But you always wanted to be left alone. Because I can't be when you're around. Why is this happening to me? What did I do to deserve this? Some sort of metal cable floating in the water. I could fish it out if I had a fishing pole. This must be the way out here, but it's locked. I'll have to find a key. This one to make a bridge. It looks old though. I just hope it doesn't break. I hope this holds. I don't want to get wet again. Hmm. There must be a key in here somewhere. I will fix this zombie. I promise. Hey, now we're talking. Cool, magnet. Right, so I could probably get the metal cable or whatever it is right from there. What does this thing do? Water level meter. There seems to be no power. Okay. So I'm thinking. Hmm. Hey, there's something shining here. Why are you sticking my hand in there? I need to find a way to reach it. It's a metal pipe. Maybe I can find a use for it. Alright, so... I can do one of two things. Fishing line. What kind of fish would I want to catch down here? I right, said so now I can get the cable. Hmm. Or maybe I could like combine things or something. I guess not. up like another I 
All right, so I can do just do that. Now I can do this, which gives us the wire. Well, considering the computer was like to control the water level, I'm guessing it's going to be the water level. There you are, Mr. Gate Key. Let's get out of here. Zombie, I found the key to the gate. We can get out of here. S Zombie? Just go, Luzia. Leave me here. How did I know you were going to say that? Huh? Look, Zombie, I don't know what the witch lady did to you, but we can't just give up. There must be a way to change you back. I, I don't know, Luzia. You won't know unless you try a zombie. Well, okay. But the witch is dead. How are we going to change me back? I... I don't know. But we won't know unless we try to find a way, zombie. Okay. Uh, thanks, Lucia. I know I don't say that as much as I should. It's okay, zombie. Let's get going. Okay. Let's find one... Let's find someone that can help you, Lucia. I don't think this would be good for anyone to see me like this. <sighs> you look fine, zombie. I don't know, Luzia. <sighs> okay, fine. You stay here, and I'll find someone that can help. It smells delicious. How much for a bowl of noodles? About three dollars a bowl. Would you like some? I wish I had money. I sure am hungry. Sorry, little lady. No dough, no noodles. Who are you calling little? You look like you're eight years old. <laughs> right, this area kind of looks a bit quite expansive. Free apples. Huh, a sign. You may only take one per day to keep the witch away. Great. One it is then. But I'm still hungry. Okay. Excuse me. Is there someone here who can help my sister? What's wrong with your sister? I think she's sick. Oh gosh, that's not good. What kind of sickness does she have? I don't know. Something that makes you white with really long arms? That sounds more like a curse to me. A curse? Yeah. You didn't meet a witch here by any chance. Maybe. Hmm. Look, I can't help you, but I know someone who can. You need to find the noodle lady. Noodle lady? Yeah. She's like an expert on curses and stuff. So where do I find her? She's usually at the laundromat washing her underwear. There's a laundromat here? I so need to wash my undies too. No offense, but you smell like you need a wash in general. It's probably because you're hanging out with trash. It's not like I went swimming in the sewer or anything. Do you like hanging out here? I live here. Okay, I'll just be going then. Make sure you find the noodle lady. She can help your sister. Hmm. Maybe a little bit too much. So there's a bin there I can drop something into. Oh man. It's locked. So cliche. Hmm. 
Oh, that's the bathhouse. Don't want to go in there. Excuse me. Could you help me and my sister out? Actually, maybe you could help me out. I'm starving, but this bozo won't sell me any, any more fried fish. If you eat any more, you'll put me out of business. How can a little boy eat so much fish? Easy. Give me one, and I'll show you. Nice try. How about you eat some fruit for once? Actually, I can really eat an apple right now. Find me an apple, and I'll help you and your friend out. Ugh, fine. But if you don't help us, I'll make you choke on that apple. Well, my apple. Here, I spat shined it for you. Oh, awesome, thanks. Now, your help, please. Here, take this. You can unlock the gate to the laundromat with it. All right. Someone here can help my sister. I'm sorry, but I'm really busy with this mess. Well, are your parents home? Maybe I can ask them. Parents? What are they? You gotta be kidding me. You don't know what parents are? No, sorry. You may have more luck asking someone else. Oh, okay. No shortcut there. Didn't know that. I don't know this key anymore. Kind of reminds me of like Resident Evil. Would you like to discard the key? It's the laundromat. I could use some clean clothes right about now. It's that lady. I've been expecting you. Lucia. And I've been expecting you, old woman. You don't even know who I am, do you? No. No, I don't. But you may remember me. Wait a minute. You're the noodle lady from my dream. Oh my. You're all wet and smelly. Why don't you call your sister? And I'll pay for your clothes to be cleaned. Thank you. That's really nice. Wait. I didn't know that I have a sister. I know a lot about you and your sister, Lucia. And I'm here to help you. But I never asked for your help. I wonder if she's like a secretly our mum or something. I think you were just about to. You're not another witch, are you? Come on, young one. Let's get you out of those wet clothes. But what will I wear? I can't just stand here naked. I won't worry about that. There's only one other person who uses this laundromat. And she only comes on Tuesdays. I bet it's Tuesday, right? So tell me, girls. What do you think about the weather we're having? Right, well, it's really hot. That's what I think. Wonderful, isn't it? Actually, it's a bit cold. Huh. Must be Tuesday. Told you. You're saying you both were kidnapped? Yes, and they beat us up zombie too. She's gone too far this time. Huh? Who has? Well, it's about time I introduce myself. Yes, it is. I'm Yakona Kajami, but everyone just calls me Noodle Lady. A lot easier. Why? You don't sell noodles, do you? I own the noodle joint a few doors over. Oh. I see you both met my daughter, Ashina. The witch is your daughter? That means you can help Zombie, right? I'm afraid I can't do that, Lucia. So you mean I'm stuck like this forever? My dear, I'm afraid that you're also not alive anymore. I'm dead? How? She's standing right there. Sombria, place your hand over your heart. Do you feel a beat? I don't. What happened to me? By the looks of things, you're now a yokai sombrari. What's a yokai? A ghost. Well... Or like a poltergeist. My daughter must have wanted something from you, Sombria. 
she wanted my body. And swap it with hers. And strange thing is... Why do you still have the same body? You call this the same body? I look like a hideous creature. No, just a pearl woman with really long arms. I've been telling her that the whole time. You look fine, zombie. Where is Ashina now? I think she's dead. Her head was floating in the bath. Did you see what killed her? Actually, no. The light went out. Then this is good news. Good news? We may be able to reverse the curse. Uh, how? Lucia, didn't you say her head was floating in a bath? You need to retrieve it for Sombria. Uh, how about no? I never want to set a foot back in that place. Don't you want to help your sister? I do. I just... I'll go. Wait, zombie. You've done enough, Lucia. Now, it's my turn. I love it when sisters get along. Don't you? Yeah, whoopee. Well, what are you waiting for? Huh? Go after her. Why? She obviously doesn't want my help. They never do. So wait for an invitation? You're right. I've probably pissed her off way too much today. Here, take this. It's the key to the bath bathhouse. Thanks, noodle lady. Good luck, little one. All right. Lucia, why are you here? I said I'll do this on my own. Well, I figured you might need the key to get in. Well, we ain't gonna find the witch's head standing here, are we? Hey. Thanks, little sis. Of blood and water. She deserves more than I do. I missed the first bit. Sorry, I got a bit eager. Uh. Okay. Smiley face on the door is a little bit creepy. Oh my gosh. What the hell happened here? We were literally gone for a day and now this? Who did this? I, I don't know. But I have a feeling we're going to find out. So where is head? I think it's in the secret bathroom. I'll go first and find out what's going on. Okay. I'll meet you there. Be careful. How does she float like that? So cool. That hole's bigger than it was before, right? Oh. Well, something happens to that chair thing there. Unless the chair thing has come to life and um, massacred everybody. Okay, so I need to find an item to do something here. There's something written here. I've been trapped here for far too long, chained to the wall like some kind of animal. You will pay for what you did to me, so will everyone else. Hmm.
Okay. Is that a guy from the freezer? Oh. Hello, Mr. Butcher. Hey, that's the witch's head. But it's on your head. There's a knife in your neck. That looks pretty painful. Hold still and I'll pull it out for you. Hmm. What was that? Hmm. <laughs> Hold on, I'll pull the knife out. Then I'll get you down. Ugh, gross. <laughs> there we go. Oh dear. What have I done? I've killed him! He He's alive? Finally. I've been trying to get her lips open so I can speak. And now that I can... Why the hell did you do that for? I can't believe you're still alive. As I said before, I'm already dead. Now, I'm just ahead. Look, I'm sorry, but I need to know what's going on here. <sighs> she did this. The lady, as you would have guessed by now. She's broken free. But how? Look, there's no time to waste talking. She is after some someone by the name of Sombria. That's my sister. Look, kid, get out while you can. There's no way for you to survive if you stay here. Not without my sister and that head you're wearing. Look, kid, only the witch knows how to stop her. I'm going to go find Sombria. Just hang in there and try not to lose your head. <laughs> Is that supposed to be funny? Yes. Alright, we got the knife back. So... Alright, let's try and go back to the secret bathroom then now, I guess. Great, the passageway is shut again. Well, I can't look in here. Maybe now I've got the knife. Oh, there's zombie. Zombie? Where the hell have you been? I was looking everywhere for you. Lucia, there's no time. I need you to stand in the other circle now. Why? What's going on? You need to do exactly what I tell you. Go now. Okay, okay. Okay, now what? Okay, I need to draw blood and spill it inside the circle. Are you insane? To attract the lady, we need a mix of pure and phantom blood. Why do we want to attract her for? She's going to eat us. Lucia, you need to trust me. Use something to cut yourself. Oh crap, this is going to hurt. Ah! And now what? Now we wait. I know you're here, bitch. Oh, hiding in the sauna, are we? I'm surprised you can fit in there with those long legs. What is this? Trying to trap me in here, are you? That won't stop me ripping the legs off you. So now what? Don't say it again. Let's just get the head and get out of here. I don't know how long this trap will hold. Just lock the door. You can't from the outside. Who's that? I can hear talking out there. Pipe down in there, Rummy. Little girl. Lucia? You too, Matt. Whoops. Lucia, get going. Get, get Go get the head now. We'll meet you at the noodle lady's house. Okay. Get the head before it's too late. Oh, 
Oh, good. It's still here. About time you showed up. Can you let me down now so I can attach myself? Sorry, I took so long. <sighs> hey, look, kid. I'm sorry about before. You're so sweet for a man with no face. Oh, I got you something. But I can't give it to you because, well, this. I see. It's on the bench. Oh, cool. A candy bar. Oh, you girls are back? You look surprised to see us. Well, with the lady running around, I was sure you'd be done for. Are you spying on us? Word travels fast around this slum, son. Come on, don't bullshit me. Lucia, what's your language? Hey, you're not in charge of me anymore. Monsters can't be babysitters. Ouch. Shut up, Lucia. You're the monster here. Oh, how I've missed this. What do you mean, missed this? I have to live with this little brat every day. And now, I'm some sort of dead freak because of her. I still remember when my daughters used to get along so well. And now, all they ever do is fight. For centuries they fight, just like you two do. Wait, centuries? How old are you? How old do you think I am, Lucia? At least a hundred. Huh, must be the hair. At least eighty? Ha! I'm as old as you want me to be, Lucia. How can the wit- uh, I mean your daughter looks as old as me. Well, look around you. Haven't you noticed anything? Yeah, this town is full of kids. But no parents. I take care of the children here. I provide them food and clean clothes. But there are those who don't want my help. And those unfortunate ones fall out into onto Ashina's plate. She eats kids? But I'm a kid. That's how she keeps her young complexion. Ugh, can we go back to this problem now, please? Yes, of course. Now that we have my daughter's head, I can use her blood to make a cure for your kiss. But once I do, you need to do exactly as I say. Why? Once you drink this, you'll only have a small amount of time. A small amount of time for what? To break the loop. Just get to the point, lady. This is a complicated curse, Lucia. You will only have three days. Otherwise, you will be stuck in the curse's loop forever. Me? Don't you mean zombie? Yes. But when the time comes, it will be you who breaks or strengthens the loop. Just tell me what I have to do. Once you drink this, all you have to do is go home. Wait, what? That's it? No magic spells or voodoo rituals? That sounds too easy. It does sound simple, doesn't it? But this is how the curse works. Once the both of you have returned home, the curse will be broken. But how do we? We came in the back of a truck. I have no idea where we are. I know someone who can take you as far as the countryside. From there, you'll have to find your own way back. However, it does have a very convenient bus route. Now get some rest. You'll both leave in the morning. Besides, it's too dangerous outside. Since she didn't lock the boathouse door. Whoops. A long ride home. Heh. You know, this is kind of fun. I wish we could do this all the time. I don't think your sister does there, uh, to be honest. So, explain to me again. Why do you want to ride with the door open? Because of the view. Look at the never-ending line of fences. It's breathtaking. It's nauseating. And the smell of cows isn't helping. Well, they smell better than your view right now. I don't notice anything. It's a proof of fact that you can't smell yourself. No, it isn't. And how come you can't smell your own farts? You're an idiot. It's true. Everybody else can smell mine, except me. That's because you leave the room right after you do one. It's probably fart magic or something. Speaking of magic, did you take that magic potion yet? It's not a magic potion, Lucia. And yes, I did. I would have taken it when, we got, when I got home. 
The noodle lady said the ingredients would go off by then. She didn't tell me that. She told me this morning. And something about breaking the loop. What's with this loop? I have no idea. There was one more thing she said before we left. What's that? That I should... Hmm? Ugh. Enjoy my time with you. Hey, what's not to enjoy? I'm fun. Meh. <laughs> And I'm a non-smoker. Oh, goody. Well, at least we're not fighting right now. Huh. You know what? You're right. Huh. She was right. This is kind of enjoyable. Mmm. Just smell that car cow fart infested air. And now the moment's gone. <laughs> You're a weird girl, Lucia. The bus stop. It's kind of creepy out here, but strangely familiar. Well, so much for the truck ride. Be thankful it got us this far. Where are we anyway? At a bus stop. Oh, congratulations, Lucia. You won a cookie. Oh, awesome. I'm starving because all I ate was a dead fish earlier. You what? I stole that dead fish from the buffet. And you ate it? Yeah. I can't believe we're even related. And I was being sarcastic, Lucia. Damn. This bus sure is slow. Zombie, what? I'm bored. Oh no. You're not wandering off again. Please. The last time you wandered off, I turned into this. Do you really, really think I'm going to let this happen again? Yeah? Look, you stay here. I'm going to see what I can find. I'm so hungry. Me too. J just wait here. Call out if you see the bus. Huh. So this is what it feels like. Hey, a mushroom. I could eat it. If I was that desperate. Where did my candy bar go from the um the other dude though, seriously? Hey, a sign. An ancient spirit hives in this forest, so summon it. An offering of tasty noodles is required. My toe is pretty desperate. We're pretty hungry, right? I guess I can't go that way. We got the other way. Let's have a look. Zombie. Oh. Thank God, it's you. I thought you were some kind of monster for a second. So hungry. I'm so hungry it hurts, zombie. Som... Lucia? I'm so hungry. Please help me. Uh, okay. Just wait right here. I'll find you something to eat. I'm talking to Lucia, by the way. Please, bring me more. Alright, so we're on a, going on a mushroom hunt. I 
Where are... Where are we going on a mushroom hunt? Can I go back this way? Uh, things are getting freaky. Here's a big one. Why have I got a picture of a zombie on my screen now? It's kind of freaky. Uh, am I running out of time or something? She's got an old Terminator on me, like a red eye, man. Thank you, Lucia. I I feel much better. But you shouldn't have left the boat at bathhouse. What do you mean? Lucia, you are being... Ugh. Trick. Ugh. I'm being what? Oh my god. I can see my butt. Lucia, what is happening? I have absolutely no idea, zombie. Hang on a second. I'll see if I can... Oh my gosh, that poor deer. What happened? Uh, I think you had bams for lunch, zombie. I did this? What is wrong with me? Look, zombie, we should really be heading back to the bus stop. Okay, I'll wait there. F I'll wait for you there. No way. Noodles! There's a noodle house in the middle of the forest. I must be dreaming. Or oh, I'm really hungry. One bowl, please. Hello, young one. Why are you this far into the woods? I said one bowl, please. Well, you must be hungry. I am. Here, young one. Take some. Mmm. That smells delicious. Yum! That was good. I'm going to ask you a favour. Sure. Could you take a bowl to the spirit of the forest? He will appear near the floating monument in the lake. Okay. Thank you, young one. Hey, little guy. Huh? I'm not little. Everyone is too big. You know, I never thought of it like that. Why is young girl here? For the noodles. Duh. Huh. What is duh noodles? Hehe. <laughs> You're just adorable. What is your name, little guy? My name is Jacketto. But everyone calls me Little Jacket. Oh, that's so cute. But you do speak a little funny. Get it? A little? Never mind. You're a strange girl. Uh, excuse me. Hmm? I don't mean to be rude. But what are you? Mudo can't talk. Mudo, too busy eating. So your name is Mudo. But Mudo will give you something special if you find mushroom for Mudo's noodles. I'm sorry, but my sister ate all the mushrooms in the, I, I could find. 
Mood or sad. Munch, munch, munch. Alright, so we have noodles. Let's go to the floating monument. Whoa. Uh, who's that? Uh, hi. My name is Liz. I know who you are. You do? I swear we haven't met. We didn't have to for me to know who you are. But tell me, why have you come here, Lucia? Because I'm hungry. Why are you here? We're stuck here waiting for the bus to take us home. But I'm still hungry. And your sister? How do you... My name is Ouija. I am the spirit of the forest. I have seen many things in my time here, but I must admit, I never thought I'd see you again. Wait, what do you mean again? Strange, she has forgotten. But this may be an advantage to breaking the loop. Don't you start about this loop business. First noodle lady, then somb. Noodle lady? Yeah, I can't seem to remember her name though. Yoko something? Kawana Kajima. Yeah, that's it. I wish to give you some words of warning. Be very careful about what you must do when the time comes. To end it all. <laughs> I'm always careful. We will see, young Louis Louisa. Before I go, can I ask you something? Why does everyone love noodles so much? Because they're delicious. But do you, do you know what makes them more delicious? What's that? Wild mushrooms. Here. Have this. It'll give your noodles a new flavour. Alright, so now we can go back to the other guy, right? Oh, by the way, I brought you this. Ah, noodles. Delicious. Lucia? Yes? Not everything as it seems. When the time is right, think. Noodles will appease the spirit. Achievement unlocked. Alright, so let's go back to the noodle bar. I will take this to the mushroom. Hopefully, um, the bus doesn't come and zombies still there. Excuse me. Hmm. I have something for you. Ta-da! Hmm. Mushroom. Thank you. Mushrooms make you grow bigger. Mudo wants to have this. Oh, cool. It's a really big leaf. Special big leaf. It's a leaf the size of a hat. Alright, don't know what to do with it. Yet, at least. We just get my flashlight from the uh, the bathhouse, which is nice. Yeah, check the spirit. Is he still there? He's gone. He be gone with his noodles. He'd be like, I ate all the noodles. I ate them all. The bus still hasn't come. Hey, zombie. This should keep you dry. Please tell me you didn't just do that. This is going to keep me dry. Yeah. I feel silly. You look silly too. So find anything in there? Nothing out of the ordinary. Heh. <laughs> After everything we've seen, what is ordinary anymore? Nothing out of the ordinary, though we found a noodle bar in the middle of the forest. We should probably stand under the bush, shall we? I like the rain. It's nice. It is peaceful, but we're probably going to catch cold. 
Hey, zombie. Hmm. What will happen after all this is over? I... I don't know. Everything will go back to normal, I guess. Even us. What do you mean? Like, do we go back to fighting with each other? Oh, well. We don't have to. It all depends. On what? On how much you owe me after this. I have a feeling I'm never going to hear the end of this. Oh, you better believe it, sister. Great. Yep. I'm going to remind you every day on how you saved my life. Huh? You're not mad at me anymore? I was never mad at you, Lucia. You need to understand. As you get older, things become more complicated. Sometimes, I wish I could be as young as you. But we can't go back. We need to keep moving forward. And if I stay mad at you, I won't be going anywhere. I understand. Really? I thought you never would. Just promise me something. Sure. Quit smoking. Yeah. We'll see. Hey, is that the bus? About freaking time. We're almost home. I can feel it. But what happens when we reach home? Will everything go back to the way it was? Will me and Lucia go back to the way we were? Will I... Lose my sister forever? Now this is the way to travel. A truck, a bus, and now a train. What's next? An aeroplane? No way. Forget that. What's the matter? You don't like heights? I'm not worried about being up in the sky. I used to have dreams about being on a plane. What happened? Well, I went to the bathroom. And when I came back, everyone was gone. No pilots, no passengers, no one. That would be pretty scary. Great. That's all I can think about right now. Hey. Remember when Uncle Rob tried fixing mom's microwave he forgot to unplug it <laughs> some scientist oh did you hear Aunt Claire had the baby last week oh who told you mom did she had a baby boy I think she named him Mark cool I miss home so do I I miss mom too I don't why she was never home. I mean, being a nurse must be hard work. But we need attention too. I really can't believe some of the things you guide, things you say, Lucia. You say the most intelligent things for a, f for a 12 year old. You have never been like this as long as I've known you. I don't feel like myself anymore. I feel as if this is all someone else's problem. But we got sucked into it somehow. Like, we're in someone else's dream. Strange. I feel exactly the same. That's not strange. I guess we're sharing the same feelings. You know what is strange though? What? Where is everybody? What do you mean? I mean, just look around you. There's no one else on the train. There was no one else on the bus either. I'm gonna take a look around. Okay, I'll take a look too. Something happens. Warming up in the bathroom. Okay, but... Why the bathroom? I don't know. It's just a place to meet. Okay, just make sure you're not using it when I get come in. For Pete's sake, this year. Who's Pete? <laughs> nice British saying there. For Pete's sake. Check the bin, not quite the door. Alright, nothing in the bin. It's fine. Yeah, I can't get any of the bedrooms. It's 
fine. This must be the engine. I can hear Hillman coming from the other side. Door requires a keycard. Great. Alright, so let's go back all the way up to the top of the train. See what we can find up here. Hey, it's you. Yes, it is I, Little Jack. Could you help me? <sighs> what does the little girl want? Could you unlock the door for me? Sorry, can't do that. Why not? Little Jacket needs a key card to unlock it. Find Little Jacket a key card first. Find a key card. The only place I can think about to find a key card is going to be either in the bathroom or the bedroom. There, yeah, the door's now open. Okay. I've been here before. What's this? A key card? There's a note here too. Why am I on this train? What happened? Where's Sombria? Where's the train taking me? It's been three days, I'm still stuck in this room. Why won't they let me leave? First the truck, the bathhouse, the forest, and now this. What does it all mean? Did, did I write this? Alright, let's take this back to little Jackie. Sorry, little jacket. Have I been here in my dream, though? Are we dreaming? I need to take the key card to the other dude. Whew. I'm not sighing at the game, I'm sighing because it's just so freaking hot. <laughs> From the moment I sat down, I just feel like the sweat has been dripping off me tonight. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, man. I just really want some rain. I'm supposed to be getting a storm tonight, which would be quite nice. Sorry to interrupt, but can do do do. Oh, hello there, little one. What are you? Who me? Well, I'm the guy who drives the train. Ha ha ha! And what I want to know is, how did you get in here? I found a key card in the bed carriage. Oh, that's where I left the darn key card. Excuse me, but who are you? They call me Gustav, and you must be Lucia. Ha 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 ha! How do you know my name? I know everything. Plus, it's in the passenger log book. Gotta keep a head count on all who ride the trails. Even if they don't have a head. Ha 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 ha! How many people are on the train? Hmm, let me see. Just one. Just one? But what about my sister? Your sister? You only said how many people, little one. She's a person too, you know. Oh, I'm sure she was. So, are you on holiday? No, but I would need one after all this. 
been in a bit of a pickle, have we, Missy? You could say that again. But we're finally on our way home to the end of all our, all of this mess. Well, I'm glad it all worked out for you. Can I ask you something? Sure thing, little one. Where are the rest of the passengers? The rest of the passengers? Why, they're all around you. Can't you see them? Well, no, I can't. They're probably just shy, or maybe they're scared of something. Scared of who? You'd best be getting back in your cabin, you'll missy. Once we enter the tunnel of sorrows, you don't want to be wandering around. But come see me later if you're still alive, that is. Ha 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 ha. Alive? Okay. So we're on a ghost train? It sounds like we're on a ghost train. So, next stop, let's go back to not the key card anymore. Let's go see if we can meet up with a zombie in the toilet, maybe. Yep, there we go. She got a leaf on her head as well. Oh crud! You scared the hell out of me. I thought you weren't scared of anything. Only by spontaneous surprises. I remember to leave a sign on the door next time then. So, did you find anything? I met the train driver. What did he say? Just some really weird stuff. Well? Well what? Well what did he say? Can I ask you something? Do you think this is a dream? Why did you say that for? Am I really Lucia? Only for as long as I've known you. Why are you sounding so doubtful right now? I, I don't know. There's something in the back of my mind. I'm not sure what it is, but it feels like something is not right about all of this. Come on, cheer up, Lucia. Right now, we need to make it home. Let's stay focused. I'll go talk to the driver, and you check the back of the train. I found this keycard. It couldn't get through the E-door, but maybe you can find a way. Alright, so... Let's go and talk to Little Jacket. Is this what I need? Looks like it could work. Little Jacket will try this card. Wait here. I opened sesame seeds. Gosh, thank you. Adorable little thing. Little Jacket will close the door if you say that again. Whoops, I mean, thank you. What the hell is that? I'm sorry, little girl. No passengers allowed back here. Who are you? Me? Mm, no one ever takes notice of me. Everyone just calls me Stretch. I just deal with the passengers' luggage. But where are the passengers? I, I don't know. I'm not permitted to leave this room. How long have you been here? Well, as long as I can remember. Why do you want to know, miss? Lucia, my name is Lucia. Pleased to meet you, Lucia. Please, there's no need to be shy. I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be shy. It's just... I, I've heard a lot about you. Tell me, are you still trying to break the curse? You mean the... Lo Wait! How did you know about the cat? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you upset. Please tell me what you know about me. I I can't. All I can say is that old lady said a lot about you. She also said bad things may happen if I talk to you. Please forgive me. Bad things? You're literally a walking head. Bad hitting you a long time ago, pal. I'm sorry. I'll just hide in this baggy compartment for, and be out of your way. Wait, no. Great. I feel like a jerk. Jeez, it's freezing out here. But still such an amazing view. White fading into black. It 
is this really me? I don't normally talk like this, don't I? Ah, what's wrong with me? I wish none of this ever happened. I wish I never killed her. What are you doing out here, little guy? Little Jacket couldn't help but hear little girl. Little Jacket wants to know why little girl is screaming. Uh, little girl does have a name, you know. Little Jacket already know Lucia's name. What little Jacket doesn't know is why Lucia are upset. Because I don't know if I'm myself anymore. I act differently. I fight with my older sister a lot more. I feel like I've done something really bad. But I have no idea what I've done. This reminds Little Jacket of a story. A story called The Two Sisters. The Two Sisters? Have you not heard that story before? Little Jacket will teach it, will tell you. Once upon a time... Is this going to be a long story? Little Jacket doesn't have to tell you a story. Okay, okay, go ahead. Once there were two sisters. They were the best of friends. They did everything together. They liked the same things. They liked the same man. Man only liked one of the sisters. Man liked the older one better. Man liked silky smooth luscious legs. Younger sister was upset. Younger sister wanted man to like her instead. Younger sister got witch to use magic to make legs like older sister. Witch said, needs older sister's legs to make potion. Younger sister's legs in her sleep. Older sister died, lost too much blood. Younger sister got nicer legs, but at a price. Wait, I've heard this before. Ashima, the red witch. Red witch, yes, but not Ashima. What do you mean by that? Red Witch started cursed. Ashina, not her real name. Real name is... Noodle Lady. Lucia. Nice to see you again. You ate him! Oh, I'm sorry. You see, I'm very hungry, Lucia. And I still am. What do you want with me? Oh, you? Think this about you? Ha <laughs> ha. No, no, my little friend. I'm here to see my sister. I know she's on this train. Sister? Yes. The one you call Sombria. Zombie? But she's my sister. She was your sister. And when I find her, I'm going to break those goddamn legs of hers. You will not lay a finger on her, you witch. Not one finger. All of my fingers. And then once I kill her, you're next, mother. How did she escape? Oh, I left the bathhouse door open. Whoops. I need to warn zombie. Can't believe you ate little jacket, man. Could already be too late for zombie. Huh, how did you get here? I never saw you get on the train. Really? I boarded the same time you did. I'm pretty sneaky. Then why are you following us? You don't look very pleased to see me. Hmm. The lady is after zombie. I need to find her. I wonder why. She may even kill her. Not unless I can help it. Be careful, Lucia. Your life is worth far more than your sister's. My life is worthless without her. I need to find her. Noodle lady creeped me out. You need to stop, Lucia. Before you ruin everything. Otherwise, I'll never be able to help you. This is the travel point. Travel to any section on the train. Okay. Let's 
Excuse me, Mr. G Gast Gustav. Well, if it isn't the little Lucia. What can I do for you? I'm wondering if you had seen my sister. Hmm, I don't know what does she look like. Tall, ghostish looking girl with long arms. That is the most freakiest description I've ever heard. But yes, she did come through here. Looking for you, as a matter of fact. Did she say where she was going? She said she was going to back to her seat to wait for you. But that's impossible. I would have seen her. Maybe you walked straight past her without noticing. No, I don't think so. Nothing ever gets past me. And nothing gets past Gustav, too. Because he takes up the entire doorway. Ha 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 ha. Are you sure you saw her here? I'm sure, little one. Ghoulish girl with long arms. Ghoulish? Yeah, ghoulish. Or ghostish. Something like that. She did seem quite happy to see me, though. I think we're both are. Before you go, could you check on my buddy, Stretch? I haven't heard from him for a while. If you haven't hurt his feelings already. Ha 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 ha. I think I did. Where does he hide? He should be in the luggage compartment somewhere. Always waiting to take someone's luggage. The poor guy. Okay, I'll go find him. Why can I not get past? There we go. Oh no, zombie. No, not stretch. Oh my gosh, stretch. What happened? That that woman, she did this. She she came out of nowhere. Ripped the trolley right out of my head. That witch. Is there anything I can do to help you? Just watch out, Lucia. She she is after Which way did she go? She went in the secret carriage. Press the button on the wall there. Stretch. I'm so sorry. But I have to save my sister. That that woman said she was after you. I'm very sorry, Stretch. I must go. It's okay, Lu Lucia. Y you could uh, uh. Stretch! I'm so sorry. Strange, I feel sleepy. This looks like some sort of entertainment stage, zombie. Zombie? Are you okay? I I'm What's wrong? Hello, Lucia. It's you. Give me back my sister. Lucia, I don't have much time. You need to listen to me. Why should I listen to you? You killed my sister. Your sister is fine. Trust me. Why did you do this? Because I want all this to end. What to end? For hundreds of years, me and my sister have been stuck like this. Trying to find a way to set us free. I'm sorry, Lucia, but this was the only way. So you stole my sister's body? Do you think it's okay to steal other people's bodies? Lucia, you don't understand. I don't have to. This was your problem, not ours. Turn my sister back now. I can't. Not until the curse has been lifted. Then how do I lift the curse? By breaking the loop. Are we already on our way to breaking the loop? You are both heading towards the beginning. Once you reach your home, you will restart the loop. That's not true. The noodle lady told me. Mother. Lucia, don't listen to her. Why? She is lying to you. What do you mean? She wants you to return home. I will stay like this for all eternity. That's not my problem. You can't do this to me. You should have thought about that before you kidnapped us. I, I know about your dreams. The marketplace, the therapist. Sombria won't admit that she has them too. But why? Why would Sombi hide them from me? It seems like she is protecting you. 
Protecting me from what? Sombrea is easily drawn to me. I thought we already had a connection. But you? Why you? What's so special about you? Mother warned me about you. What are you talking about? Is it remarkable that you have all the answers? But why can't you answer this? Lucia, something is going to happen soon. And when the time comes, you're going to have to make a choice. What choice? The choice to save your life. Or hers. You don't mean me and Sombria. If you choose to listen to her, be warned. This will not go the way you think it will. All I want is my sister back. So we can go home. But there is something that still bugs me. If you're not the Red Witch, then who is? How, how did you know? Huh? I finally found you, little sister. Hiding in the bodies of the living. Far too long have I awaited this moment. Hanging from your bathhouse wall like a photo frame. Thinking of all those years, how I could have spent my life. So it was her that was in the secret compartment. Sister, I'm very sorry. Shut up, Ashina. I've heard your lies through the centuries. There is nothing you can say that will make me forgive you. Please listen to me. This little one says she may be the key to setting us free. Don't you say anything about freedom. You have no idea what it's like to have your damn legs cut off then chained to a wall for centuries. This is all mother's fault, was it? What is going on? Go on, sis. Tell her one of your famous lies. Lucia, don't listen to her. You and your sister were not picked randomly. The curse is like a living mother. In order for it to survive, it must give birth. You two are its nearest children. The loop. It's impossible. We have a mother. And so do we. And she is going to pay also. Leave these two out of this. They are more than welcome to leave. But you aren't going anywhere. Lucia, take your sister and go. The answers you seek lie somewhere on this train. But only if you wish to find them. Now go! Zombie? you go man also all the rooms are open um it's a carriage full of me hey are you okay zombie we're almost home. What home? Our home. We don't have a home, Lucia. Of course we do. Please don't give up on me now. Lucia, answer me something. What do you remember about Mother? Well, not much. She was never around. I guess she was too busy working at the hospital. Lucia, we don't have a mother. What, what do you mean? She died over a year ago. I'm sorry been lying about her coming home late. That's the reason I've been sending you to bed early. But, but, the car. I hear her pull up every night. That was my boyfriend. I've been lying to you for all these years. I thought it was one year. I don't know who to trust anymore. For the first time in my life. I feel empty. You see, I, I... Hey, little one, come here quick. Stop listening to the lies. Lies? Sorry, little one, but I could not help overhearing your conversation. What's it matter, anyway? Ha ha ha. You don't believe that garbage, do you? What do you mean? What did I say earlier, huh? 
Uh, I forgot. Well, at least we're out the other end. Out the other end. End of what? The tunnel. I see the tunnel of sorrows has affected your mind somehow. The tunnel of sorrows. When the train passes through the tunnel, your worst doubts emerge. The tunnel shows you the worst possible things that could happen to you. So it was all a dream? Well, sort of, my tiny friend. More like a mirage. So, none of it was real. See, that's the thing. It could be real. If you want it to be real, then it will become real. Can I ask you something? Far away, little missy. What do you see when you go through the tunnel? Yeah, you know, nobody's ever asked me that before. What I saw was me crashing the train. Killing every passenger. Except me. Is that what happened to you? I should have slowed down. A corner, the ice. How, how do you know this? It's going to sound strange, but I remember. I remember being a passenger on this train when it crashed. I just can't remember why I was on this train. Then I must say I deeply apologize, little one. How did you die? In my home. I thought I could drink away the pain. Instead, I made it worse. Once I had joined my passengers, I could understand what it felt to be let down. They depended on me. It wasn't your fault. These things happen. We don't control life. Life controls us. Are you sure that you're the little girl I spoke to earlier? You sound a lot older. I don't know what it is happening to me. But wherever it is, I feel it has almost consumed me. Like, I'm finally about to wake up. Well, you are truly remarkable, little one. How is Stretch doing? He... he didn't make it. Poor kid. I'm sorry. It's okay, little one. He has arrived at his final station. Speaking of which, so are we. Wake up, please. This is all a dream. The Tunnel of Sorrows. It shows our worst realities. I couldn't tell her the truth about what I saw. But it will haunt me forever. Will we ever make it home? We're this close and I still have doubts. I need to stay positive. And that was the last time I stayed at the Day Dayfield Motel. <sighs> I wish you would just wake up, Lucia, so we can go home. Please. I can't stand to see you like this anymore. Is that number one instead of an eye? My sister back. My real sister back. Please, if you can hear me, give me a sign. It's been three weeks now. I hope the fourth one is the charm. I don't think that's how it goes. It does not matter. You will wake up. I know it. I just do. Please. I, I didn't mean to do it. it. It was just an accident. I I wish I'd just slowed down. The corner, the car. I wish we never even went to see Mum that day. I'm so sorry, Lucia. Because of my mistake, you will never wait, walk again. Just please wake up. I, I guess I'll just have to wait until you're ready. Christ. I need a smoke. I'll be right back, Lucia. So she's put us in a hospital bed? S zombie? We we need to, to go home. No! She wasn't there for her final words, man. Her last stop. Well, this is it. Our farm is not too far from the station. I hope you know what you're doing, Lucia. We're all counting on you. So, am I in a coma? But so this is all a dream? I guess. A subway station. Where is home? I guess breaking the curse is going to wake me up, possibly? I, I remember this place. I used to come here all the time. When I was upset. You did? Why were you upset for? I I just get like that sometimes. 
I can't explain it. So, you're depressed? Yes. I'm not even surprised by your intelligence anymore. Lucia, I've been like this for a very long time. Does Mum know? No. I don't like to share this with anyone. But you told me. Who else have you told? Just my therapist. I basically tell him everything. But he doesn't help. Isn't he supposed to? I guess, but he... No, never mind. You can tell me. I, I can't. I'm sorry, Lucia. I just need some time to myself, please. Okay. I'm going to do some exploring. Do you remember where the exit is? I can't remember right now. Okay, but don't go anywhere. You can be depressed here, okay? Lucia. Lighten up, zombie. It's just a joke. I'll be back soon. So the whole thing on the train about her saying, like, mom was dead and the, the it was a boyfriend, that was the Tunnel of Sorrows. It's really cleverly written, actually, that, yeah, it goes back to what we saw at the beginning of the game in the house. That, um, she just thought that, that truck was her boyfriend turning up. So it's, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's quite good, actually. Boy, am I hungry. Too bad I don't have any money. Okay. I do find it a little odd that I can still hear like the trains moving. I need to find something to widen the gap. Not working, I wonder where it goes. It's a long way down. A long way down, but it smells like chocolate? Alright, I need something to widen the gap. pipe. Alright. Gate control must open the gate to the next door, but it says it needs power. Backup generator located in the basement. Access the basement via elevator. How am I going to use an elevator without power? Zombie? Nope. 
Huh. Like a ticket booth or something, I'm not really sure. It's more interesting with a vending machine, possibly. about zombie. I was right to think of any machine. Seems so stupid. Wait, what's that sound? What, who, what are you? Shakes head. Can you talk? I guess not. Can you understand me? Not. Okay, I need to reach the basement. Is there a way down? Shakes head. Points to candy bar. You want this? Well, could you do me a favor? I need to turn on the backup generator. Hey, where did you go? What's that sound? Hey, you did it. Here you go. You deserve it. All right, awesome. Okay, now we have power. Are you? Boop. It's Death Rochette. Wait. Hee <laughs> hee. Another one to play with. Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? I asked first. Well, you're the cheeky, aren't you? I'm Verdinia, but most people call me Verd. Everyone? Yes. I have friends, you know. So, what are you doing here? My sister and I are trying to get home. We just got off the train. Train. Trains haven't come through this subway for ten years. Wait, how can you see me right now? You're alive? I I don't know. So you're a ghost, huh? I'm not a ghost. I'm a girl. I'm just a dead girl. What is your name? My name is Lucia, I think. Lucia? I know who you are. You know me already? Yes. You're the one that did this to us. What? Me? Yes, you witch. I'm no witch. Thanks to you, we're all stuck in limbo. What are you talking about? Don't have done with me. You're the red witch. What? That's not true. That's impossible. You are. You're just a little girl. That's because I'm not the witch. All of us daddies know who you know you are. To obtain one's true desire, the Red Witch will conspire. You cannot lie to me. But I'm... I'm not. Me. I, am I really the Witch? Why does everyone hate me? Because you left us all in purgatory. In this godforsaken loop. The loop. Did I create the loop? You don't know your own story. Damn. You really did lose your mind. I... I don't remember anything. The last thing I remember is waking up. I couldn't sleep, so I went to find Sombria. Hey, I know Sombria. She's the girl that comes here to cry. 
to cry. She said that she does come here when she's depressed. Yeah, she does depress a lot. <laughs> Why do I create this loop? To punish us. You put us all in purgatory. All for your sister's sake. My sister? What are you talking about? Do you know why your sister comes here all the time? Because she's depressed. Haha. <laughs> no. All of us have a tragic story of how we died. Your sister is looking for hers too. No. Zombie? You created this loop to trap her and all of us here. Just so you could keep her alive. Just let her die. So we all can. I, I can't. You don't understand. She's my sister. I don't understand. I'm already dead. I can't move on. We all have to make a choice that we don't like. What would happen if she did? We could all move on. The loot would be broken. I have a hard choice to make. You owe us. We've suffered a lot longer than you have. Please. I need to speak to Sombria. I'll be back. Well, I ain't going nowhere. Thanks to you. So, wow, okay. I think I, am I dead? The story is getting, I'm a little bit lost with the story if I'm honest at the moment. I think I'm dead. So yeah, I think I'm dead. But for some reason, I won't let Sombria die. I'm keeping her alive. Oh, I'm a little lost with the story. Oh, where's she gone? In the toilet, of course. Whenever we need to meet, we meet in the toilet. S zombie? I, I can hear you in there. I need to talk to you. Please. Leave me alone. You know I can't do that, right? You're my big sister. I'm supposed to be around you to annoy you. Y you you don't understand. Lucia, you will never understand. But zombie, I do understand. I understand what it's like to be alone. To have no one. To have no life left to live. That's why I made the loop. If it just say... Wait, what? I know who I really am now. I am the one who caused all this. You can't be. I made this loop to protect you. To protect me from what? F from killing yourself. Killing myself? It's starting to make sense now. Sombria, this is the place where you die. You are not my sister. I was scared. I was scared that I might lose you. I was never going to. I was going to chicken out. Sometimes we don't chicken out. I know I can't stop you, even though I tried to. I know this is not my choice. It's yours. I can't save you, but I can help you. We still have a shot to break the loop. You need to trust me. Please. I... Uh, okay. We need to do this together. I think you were right about what you said before. About what? But this feels like someone else's problem. I don't know what is going to happen, but I want you there when something does. Lucia, thank you for everything. You, so why are you coming? In a minute. I sort of need to go while I'm in here anyway. Okay, I'll meet you at the exit. Oh, I found this doll. Do you want it? It looks old though. Well, it's the one from the therapy, isn't it? Yep. Alright, so we're going to go to the exit, right? So I am the one that's created the loop. Interesting. I think I kind of understand the story. It's still a little bit. So. What's it going to be? Which? I've made my decision. And? I'm going to break the loop. R really? I'm going to be free from this nightmare? Yes, we all will. Including my sister. What? No. 
Please. We have suffered enough. I don't know if I am the one who made the loop. But I do know that I am the one to end it. Let her die. It's the only way. No. There is another. I know there is. Fine. Just leave us here. You witch. Third. Go away. Before I go, I thought you may want your doll back. M Molly? W where did you find her? My sister found her. I, I lost her over ten years ago. I died trying to find her. I, I fell onto the tracks. H how did you know she was mine? I know what it's like to lose someone special. It's a special sense you get. Th thank you. We're just like you, trying to find a way home. It looks like I was told a lie. Huh? The noodle lady was wrong about you. The noodle lady? She talks about the story of the Red Witch all the time. But she never mentioned you to be so... nice. The noodle lady told you I was the Red Witch? She said only the Red Witch can break the loop. But to break it, she must spill the blood of her sister. I I'm sorry for how I acted back there. I've forgotten that I was once alive. I will break the loop, I promise. Good luck, Luz. Huz, huh. What is it? There's that laugh again. Uh, good, good luck, Lucia. Hmm? What laugh are you referring to? Red Witch, Noodle Lady? Possibly. Maybe it is my sister after all this time. I think I missed how to get to the exit. Here laughing. Who are you? Don't you remember me? You're me. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm actually Lucia, thank you very much. You're just a cranky old lady. What are you talking about? Want to play games, huh? I love to play games. How about truth or dare? What? Truth or dare. Okay, okay. Truth. Playing it safe, huh? Okay. Have you ever kissed a boy? No. Haha. -ha. Okay, your turn. Truth or dare. Ha! What you gonna do now? I... I don't know. Well, I dare you to kill me. Come on. Kill me. No. Kill yourself. Truth. Why are you naked? Because I've got nothing to hide. Truth. Wait, isn't it my turn? We've all had enough turns at this game. I want you to end it. Truth. How do I end the loop? Kill the Red Witch. Truth. Who is the Red Witch? Lucia. Dare. Kill me. Please, for Sombria. Why is that your answer? Sombria suffered enough from me. Ever since I was a little, all I ever did was get in her way, interrupt her life. I don't deserve someone like her. Go home. Huh? Just go. Now. Self-sacrifice. Your mother was pathetic in giving you my name. 
I did what was possible to keep my daughters alive. But you're not going to take them away from me. Okay. I am very confused. Break or strengthen. We're home. Let's hope Noodle Lady was right. Or wrong. We made it. Zombie, we're finally home. Yes, we did. It's good to finally see home again. And now, we can stop this cursed loop and bring you back to normal. Right? I... I guess so. Are you feeling alright, Lucia? I feel great. Just like pickles. Why aren't you feeling good, too? Oh, I am, but you seem different now. You seem... normal. Huh? What are you talking about? I've always been normal. You seem less intelligent than before. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Are you calling me dumb? N no, no, I didn't mean it like that. Well, you're ugly and stupid. And you look like a freak. Maybe. I'm just a freak after all. That's right, run. Where'd she go? The big crybaby. It's like imagination for me. She's going to be in the bedroom, right? Oh, it, hey, what are you doing in their house? Oh, me? I thought I'd drop by just to see if you two made it back all right. It took a while, but we made it. So, where's your sister? Zombie? Pfft, probably crying in a room. Serves her right for calling me a dumb. Now, that's not very sisterly, is it? I don't care. She should be nice to me. Yes, she should. That's right. She should. It's not like she thanked me for helping her get home or anything. And it was me who did everything. Maybe we should remind her of your efforts, Lucia. Yes. But how? Just tell her how ungrateful she was for your help. That she just got in your way. Yeah. She's gonna get it. Don't do it. Don't do it, Lucia. You're being tricked. I'll let her stay in there until she wants to be nice to me. Besides, it's locked anyway. And awfully quiet. Glass of milk should help me sleep. There's a picture on here. Uh, it, is someone there? He hello? Uh, Lucia? Is that really you? What, what are you? What are you? It, it's me. P please, remember. It, it's me. M Mom. Y yes, my sweetheart. Mom! What happened to you? It's going to sound strange to you, but this is your sister's doing. She created this place, these people, these stories. This is all zombies' fault. Yes, and no. See, your sister is a very special girl. So I'm not special? You girls are very special to me. I, I mean, Sombri is a witch. Zombie's the red witch? Yes. H how do you know that? All this time, I thought I was. You've been speaking to the noodle lady, haven't you? Yes, how do you know that? It's the loop. Everything that you've seen, heard and felt, they're all just distractions. What do you mean? 
it, it's Sombria's emotions, her imagination. She created all of it. But why? But because she she's depressed, right? Yes. I've tried to talk to her, but she won't listen to me. I, I tried to break the loop myself, but I failed. That's why I'm here. But you still have a chance, Lucia. But why me? I haven't been myself lately. But because you two are sisters, Lucia. For some reason, you both can understand each other. I can't explain it. But you two have a special connection with each other. You, you both share each other's thoughts, emotions and imagination. I guess parents just don't get it. But Lucia, you have to kill Sombria. But I can't. It's the only way. Lucia, please. I would have it any other way. But this is the only way. I can't kill my sister. You have to, Lucia. Please, it will bring everything to the peace. Even your sister. How do I know you're not lying to me? You were never there when we needed you. Lucia, I did everything I could for you girls. I even risked my own existence to save Sombria. I sacrificed myself to make sure you both have a life. Please, you have to trust me. But how would I kill her? I left you a clue under Sombri Sombri's door. I'm not sure if you got it earlier. So, I put it on the refrigerator. Please, do this for Sombria. I... I... I know. I can't make up your mind for you. That's for you to decide. And you only. Just promise me something, Lucia. Yes, Mummy? Never forget that I love you both so very, very much. I won't. I promise. No! Mum? Mum! She died. Mum be dead. It's Mum's gardening shovel. Mum. Alright, so... Zombie is the Red Witch. Feeling sick, my darling? You took your time in there. Yes, I was sick. My poor darling. Once you're done up there, I'll make you a bowl of noodles. Uh, okay. Is there something wrong, Lucia? You seem shaken. Uh, who, me? I'm fine. Well, okay. If you say so. I'll wait here until you return. I just want to say thanks for helping me understand Sombria. Oh, you're very welcome, my dear. I know what I have to do. I wonder why the ground is so soft. One's garden is on the other side of the yard. It's the butcher's knife. There's some writing on it, the handle. Good luck, kid. Butcher. <laughs> he trusts me with knives now. Giggle. Alright. So... I feel so sleepy. No, I can't go to sleep just yet. Can't use it. it needs to be charged. Um Is that it?
Is that the end? Is there another ending? Surely there's got to be another ending where I like kill Sombria or something. I'll just continue the loop. Alright, let's go get the shovel. Maybe there's multiple endings. to dig? No. Oh, it's a new lady. What? Alright, there's possibly a glitch there then, where it uses the wrong character model. Uh, it seems. I'm not going to sleep yet. Screwdriver. Why is the noodle lady just standing there? Something on the other side as well, maybe. Mom's heart. Okay. Alright, so there is nothing else to do in here. What do you use a screwdriver for?
Is that it? All right, well, I don't know if that is the end of the story or not. I know it's still in beta. Maybe it's not finished just quite yet. Was it an appropriate language? Okay, so all in all, I think it was pretty good. It's very, very story driven. There is more story than anything else in the game. Um, but I actually really enjoyed it. The story was a bit confusing um, throughout. So I guess a lot of what we were playing was Zombie's um, kind of illusion and what she was like trying to make us um, see and actually do. But um, yeah, I don't know I'd really call it a Tag It Brand as RPG adventure, definitely in horror. Um, but yeah, there's only that really that one point on the whole game where I kind of struggled um, and wouldn't have known about the picture but other than that I think I you know everything else was pretty straightforward there was a few things that I picked up in the text and um, there was a few graphical things right at the end there where the noodle lady actually had the wrong character model it looked like and the text of the knife handle was actually outside the box as well I don't know if that was um, purposely done or, or on purpose or what but um, yeah, I mean, I will come back. I'll, I'll do some reading about that, see if there is like a different ending you can actually get there, see if I did miss anything. But um, no, really enjoyed the game. Thanks once again to Grab the Games for providing me with the uh, key to be able to try this one out. But as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with something brand new. But until then, I've been Knock, you've been awesome. See ya.